What it do? Bad time crew. Hey man, listen, today I'm here to talk about UFC fighters that I could mog. Now listen, bro. I'm talking about physically mogging them or emotionally and socially mogging them. And I know you guys don't know what I look like, but you need to trust me, all right? Um, I'm a I'm a freak of nature, dude. So let me get into this. I'm gonna try and be as realistic and as humble as possible. Keep in mind, this is all a joke, bro. I'm not threatening violence, dude. I'm just saying like if it came down to it, I would mog these guys, all right? Let's start off straight away. Let's be completely serious. Starting off. Listen, you guys. Listen, guys. Seriously, guys. Bedtime's going to make a video, guys. He's going to record a video, you guys. I think I would socially just mog Henry Cejudo. First of all, I'm like double his size. I'm double his, his height, at least, you know. Um, I would just tower over him, you know what I'm saying? And when, he, when he's drawing on his little telestrate, I'd be like turning it off and shit. I'd like plug in a wireless mic and kind of fuck with him a little bit. I think I'd just mog Henry Cejudo in every aspect. I mean... Plus, if we got into like a physical altercation, his best bet would be to wrestle me, but he'd try and leg kick me at range instead and just get fucking, you know, tagged up with the jab. So I feel like my fight IQ would come in clutch against Henry Cejudo, not to mention the height advantage. I mean, if we're playing basketball, this guy's cooked. I'm putting up fucking 20 points, five blocks. You know, I'm sending this shit to Madagascar. So in any realm, possibly, I'm going to say I, I would mog Henry Cejudo. I mean, I'm, I'm probably a better fight analyst. Let's be real, guys. I'm the best predictor on YouTube. Better editor for sure. And uh, let's not talk about the physical aspects as well, you guys. But let's jump straight into my next selection on UFC fighters that I would mog. Uh, I was going to do individuals, but, you know, it was too many. I didn't want to fill up the screen with too much people. So I've decided to just put the entire flyweight division into the category um, of A tier. Now, obviously, there's some that would do well. There's some that I, I would completely, you know, be able to do whatever I want to. You know what I'm saying? But... Some real standouts that I believe I would mog. I mean, we're talking about guys that are, you know, 5'3", five, 5'2". Five, you know, I'm talking about Kai Kara France as well. I'm not going to talk about the incident that we had when I was in New Zealand. He knows what happened, dude. But uh, all jokes aside, man, just the physical nature of it, I believe I'd go pretty good rolling with these guys. But um, they're, they're pretty skillful. They're pretty dangerous. But I decided to put all of them in the A tier simply because I think it would take this many flyweights to take me out, honestly. I really think it would take this many flyweights to, you know, incapacitate me. I mean, if we're t again, if we're talking about other sports, I mean, f football, I'm crossing these guys up. I'm fucking, you know, scoring fucking, uh, you know, a hat trick basketball. I'm dunking on Kai Kara France, 100%. I will not fight Kai Kara France, but I would 1v1 him in basketball. And I know for a fact I'd drop him off 11 zip. So for that reason alone, not to mention the fact that, you know, you, you see me out in the club next to these guys, you're going to be like, oh, that's nice that you brought your, 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 your little cousins with you. You know what I mean? I'm mogging these guys, dude. I'm mogging the entire flyweight division. Let's move on. This is such a dumb video. Chris Curtis, I'm going to put you in the D tier, bro, because Chris Curtis could fuck me up. I have no illusions. Chris Curtis would fuck me up, dude. Okay. A in the B tier. I'm delusional enough to think I wouldn't get absolutely fucking killed. Maybe I, I probably would, but there's other things I could mog them in, you know. Chris Curtis, my strategy here of mogging Chris Curtis, I truly believe I could make him mad enough to, to see red, get sensitive enough, and, and just get salty enough to have a meltdown, maybe delete Twitter, delete Instagram. That would be kind of the route I would go. Maybe, you know, social media mog him. Um, he may delete Twitter over this video, to be honest. So Chris Curtis, dangerous, dangerous mogging uh, target, but there's a possibility that I find an opening. You know, I hit him with a fluky kind of right hand and get him to delete Twitter or maybe make a rant video about me. So I think Chris Curtis, I could mog him emotionally, you know. Here's the fucking thing about Chris, you guys, dude. He's the most sensitive fucking guy on the internet, you guys, dude. But all jokes aside, Chris Curtis is a good fighter. Plus, if we got into a physical altercation, he would just get start taunting and get mad because I wouldn't walk into his punches. I'd be like backing up, dude. He'd start fucking taunting and be like, come on, dude, come fight me. So Chris Curtis, I'm going to put him in the D tier. I'm tentative on that one, but I'll put him in the D. Right, pause. Jesus Christ. Um, let's move on to another high level UFC fighter that me, an MMA YouTuber, would absolutely just alpha in public in any situation, especially socially. Al Jermaine Sterling. This is one of the most. I like Al Jermaine Sterling, but he's a bit awkward, dude. And I feel like if me and Aljo were in the same room, I'd be, I'd be asking him all the questions. You know what I'm saying? I'd be hitting him with the, oh yeah, how's your next fight gonna go? Oh man, you better train hard, you know. And he's trying to talk, and I'm just talking over him. I'm just mogging him socially. You know what I mean? I'm going, yo, bro, if you need any advice with your YouTube channel, dude, just let me know, man. Like, I'm happy to help you out, bro. You know, I'm happy to help you out, bro, buddy. You know what I mean? Hey, if you need, you need any advice in the gym, like, I can help you with your physique, bro. That's how I would mog Aljamain Sterling. I think physically I wouldn't, um, simply because I'm more of a grappler and I can't really get a hold of him. I'd have to hit him with, like, an O'Malley right hand. You know, it's possible. I could definitely land an O'Malley right hand, you know, 
I'm pretty good at that stuff, but uh, I'm going to say less physically, more socially. I believe I would mog out Jermaine Sterling just for my personality type and uh, my player build as well. I mean, we're talking about any other sport. Again, I feel like I've got the advantage. So for that reason, I'm going to put Aljo pretty high in the B tier. I'm pretty confident I'd be the alpha in the room if I talked to Al Jermaine Sterling. Um, I mean, come on. I'm an MMA YouTuber, guys. I I'm basically a fucking peak member of society. Let's move on to a fighter that I'm not super confident in my ability to physically mog them, but I believe, again, I would socially kind of mog them. Emotionally, I'd kind of mog them. I'm going to put Michael Chiesa in the C tier. I'm not worried about getting punched in the face by this guy. I Kevin Lee kind of wrote the blueprint on how to mog him, and I do believe that I would, I would win a press conference against Michael Chiesa. I think I'd win a press conference against Michael Chiesa. I do have a pretty nasty DAS choke equipped in my, in my player build, so that's always a possibility. Um, I'd say it's a 50-50 fight, to be real. And uh, Michael Kies, I'm going to put him in the C tier just because I believe, you know, he's a bit smaller than Chris Curtis. He's does, not as dangerous. Like, Chris Curtis could one-shot KO me. I don't believe that's a possibility with Michael Kiesa. I mean, the guy's training with fucking Juliana Pena as his main training partner. You know, what else do I need to say? And for that reason, I'm going to put him in the C tier. You know, I respect him. He's a welterweight. He's a big guy. He's a good grappler. Um, I think he'd fuck me up in the grappling, but there's a chance. And I think socially as well. I'd be all over him, dude. Pause. I'd be fucking... You know, again, I'd be giving this guy advice on how to do a YouTube channel. I'd be, I'd be going, hey, bro, you know, if you want to get your physique right, man, come train with me, dude. I'll, I'll, I'll teach you a little bit, you know, buddy. So C tier for Michael Chiesa. Let's move on to another fight. This is such a an idea, bro. I made the thumbnail for this and I was like, I've got to follow through with this, dude. So let's put in another fighter in the C tier, dude. Dan Ige. I might move him to B tier. I'm going to move Dan Ige to B tier. I'm going to move him to B tier. I think physically I would mog Dan Ige. I'm six foot tall, dude. Uh, in shoes. So basically, I'm 6'1", guys, um, which rounds up to 6'2". But listen, dude, he may one-shot KO me like I'm Damon Jackson, but I think if that doesn't happen, I could survive against Dan Ige. I think I could, I could mog him a little bit physically just with my height and my, my length and my reach. And socially, I mean, he's a pretty nice guy. I don't, think he, I don't think he'd be very confrontational with me. I like Dan Ige. I wouldn't want to mog him. That's kind of why I had him in the C tier, because I wouldn't want to, you know? Like, I wouldn't feel any good about myself if I did that to Dan Ige. And, you know, he's a good dude. He's a good fighter. I always try to give him respect on the channel, but physically speaking, I mean, again, if we're playing a 1v1 basketball game, say goodbye, 14 zip. Have a good day, buddy. I'm sending that shit to fucking Alaska with the right hand. Um, but, you know, with all of that in mind, I have to put you in the B tier, respectfully speaking. Um, get mogged, little bro. Let's move on. I've got two more left, and in the S tier, I have a UFC champion. Okay, and, and I truly believe I would mog this guy, all right? Oh, this person, excuse me. Um, but starting off, I'm going to put somebody else pretty low. I don't think physically I could ever mog this guy, but I think socially I've got it in the bag. Bro, 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 bro how, many, how many videos do you upload a day, bro? How do you make a YouTube channel, bro? Are you Australian, American, bro? I want to know, bro. I feel like I'd mog Leon Edwards. I feel like if me and Leon Edwards got in a room, I'd be able to kind of control the conversation, dude. And then for that reason, I have to put him here, D tier. The tism is too strong with this man. I feel like I could overwhelm his fucking senses, dude. He's like Kawhi, bro. If I throw enough at him, I feel like I could fucking, you know, overwhelm him and make him just start stuttering like a madman. I think I could fucking, you know, crack a couple of jokes, get the whole team laughing. I think I would, I think I would, I would turn things around with me and Leon. I think I would let, he would start off like confrontational with me and then I'd kind of morgue him socially. Just be like, yo, what's up, dude? Big fan, man. Listen, bro, I'm not, you know, I'm not, not the hugest fan in the world, but you know, respects, dude. And you know, I'd crack, make, crack a couple of jokes, you know, make him laugh. And then just mog him every time, every time he tries to answer or ask a question. I, I, I straight, listen, bro. Oh, you seriously, bro. Let me just say something to you, man. I, I mean this, bro. I mean this, man. I know it's hard for you to speak to me, man. But, uh, you know, listen, dude. I just want to say, you know what I mean? I just hit him with that shit. And for that reason, I'm not going to put him any higher because, I mean, physically, he'd fucking ki he'd kill me, dude. He'd literally KO me dead. But I've got a chance socially. I could, I could maybe overload the computer and get a, get a takedown. You know what I'm saying, dude? And for that reason, I'm putting Leon Edwards in the D tier. There is one fighter left that I'm pretty confident I would mog this UFC champion. And Raquel Pennington, your time has come. All right. <laughs> Raquel Pennington, bro. I'll fucking take you out, dude. Nah, but man, I could literally be the women's bantamweight champion of the world if I was a 135 pound female. With my skills and my build, if I was a six foot, 135 pound woman, with my incredible kickboxing skills in purple belt and jiu-jitsu, I mean, I'm basically Charles Oliveira. Dude, it'd be raps at women's bantamweight, all right? And, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, be that guy, dude, but, you know, real ones know. I'm basically the women's bantamweight champion. Raquel Pennington just doesn't know it yet, guys. So that is my list of UFC fighters that I believe I would mog. Obviously, like I said, this is a joke, dude. 
All right, don't get too fucking mad in the comments, dude. Um, none of you can touch me anyway, so I don't want to hear shit from any of you guys in the comments. But listen, let me know what you guys think down below. Which UFC fighter is there that you are confident you could beat them in a fight or you're confident you could mog them in some sort of way, you know, in another sport or, you know, socially. I want to hear your thoughts down below, guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel. Go follow me on Instagram at BedtimeMMA. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Goodbye.